What is going on everybody? Mr. Lad here. This is going to be kind of a quick video and this is also my introduction, probably a horrible introduction, but my introduction into the Superior Products lineup. You guys have requested it for so long and I went ahead and picked up it somewhere on eight products, maybe eight or nine products from Superior Products and we're going to go ahead in the next eight or nine videos, maybe five or six if I can combine some of them together. But the next few videos are going to be sur uh, purely uh, gravitating towards superior products and so uh forgive me for the kind of lack of normal format here i'm just going to kind of talk about this product here and how i've used it a bit and uh and yeah so this is the superior products coverall the cool thing is that you can find this local in your o'reilly's and your local o'reilly's and i think that's the only place i've actually found it if you have found it somewhere else please let me know in the comment section below and uh, the cool thing is that you can find this locally as long as you have an O'Reilly's by you. Of course, you can always find it online or whatever. But I picked it up from O'Reilly's for, I think it was $7.49 to be exact. And I noticed something, that there's a few other superior product products in the O'Reilly's and they all have the coverall name over them. So I think they've taken the coverall name and they've kind of converted that into a lineup of products, kind of a selection of, of products, how 3D used to have HD, you know, it used to be the HD speed, HD cut, HD polish and all that. There's the HD lineup, you know, 3D did that. I think kind of superior products is doing that with the coverall name because i noticed the uh, interior dressing with the coverall name i've noticed their zap it which we'll talk about in another video with the coverall name so basically it's, it's pretty cool how they're doing that nevertheless let's get into it and so uh i've used this on quite a few cars and what i like about it is not only does it have a very high gloss shine but it's very easy to work with uh, it, it of course there's going to be some overspray and all that. It's an aerosol product. Most of them have some type of overspray unless it's a foaming agent. This one's not a foaming agent, so there is a little bit of overspray that comes along. But it's very easy to work with still. And what I really like about a, a product like this, especially this product, is that it's very durable. Not just durable, but it doesn't leave a crazy brown residue behind after the product kind of uh, not evaporates, but after the the product kind of goes away and, and the the tires back to its original state. Uh, it doesn't leave a crazy brown residue a little browning does occur but that's really with all dressings because no matter what there is a layer on top of there there's a layer of some type of dressing and a little brown will occur from the dirt from the road this just doesn't do it as much as a normal solvent based or high oily uh, product so uh, yeah with that being said let's get, go ahead and get into it now the cool thing about this product is of course yes it's easy to use and i really like it for trucks especially this one where you have the tread towards the edge and a normal hand applicator or hand applicated dressing won't work and so a product like this really works very convenient in these situations so let's just go ahead and get to it and i'll show you kind of the application process here Now, I personally like to kind of start from the inside and work out. Let's make sure that we have good coverage. Cool. Now, the thing about this product is it doesn't have a normal... Here, I miss a spot. There you go. It doesn't have that normal aerosolish smell there is the normal aerosol smell but it's also masked with something else which is pretty cool uh but it's very easy to use and the aiming on this product i've noticed with a lot of different aerosol products when you try to aim it goes all over the place uh like the eagle one i told you guys about the eagle one aerosol dressing i actually like it but it works uh it kind of gets really blotchy on the tire and it's really thick so you have to take an applicator over it afterwards and kind of wipe it down to mellow it down a bit uh another one the mothers i was going to do a review on the mothers it was it's the red can that product is just straight up garbage in my opinion it gets dye all over the, the rim it's just horrible to work with and i it wasn't even worthy of review there's my review right there uh but this one's it's got great aim it's kind of very precise it's still aerosol so it still has a bit of overspray but the aiming is pretty precise here uh let me go ahead and take in and take a look at it you can see kind of like it's it's a nice black look the shine is there if you like that high gloss look i personally do like high gloss call me tacky call me whatever you want uh but you know it has a nice high gloss look 
and um and that that's something i do prefer now i went ahead and prepared it the the wheel oh, i'm sorry not the wheel the the tire as i normally do with a degreaser of sorts uh that's kind of how you want to go ahead and prep these now you can use something like brake buster the only problem with brake buster is does it work on tires yes is it effective it gets the job done you know is it the best tire cleaner no it's not the best tire cleaner if you want to all in one product you're, you you want to gravitate towards like adam's tire and um was a tire and wheel cleaner that that's a great product right there uh but as far as you know i just use a degreaser and i scrub that bad boy down and clean it up let it dry and here we are so it's been a couple minutes and you can see already that the product i mean the 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 tire looks very good what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and kind of step away from the camera here and i'm going to let it cure for me about 10 15 minutes and we'll see how it looks afterwards all right, so we've actually let this sit for probably close to about 45 minutes. I had a couple phone calls I had to make and everything I had to take care of. But with that being said, this is the product afterwards. Uh, this is the kind of the ending result here. Let's go ahead and let's take a quick little look at it. So, you see, it has a nice shine to it. it looks good, it looks great, glossy. Now the only problem is that if you were to leave it like this, it might attract a little bit of dust because you see there's a little bit of a film here not as much as other products so i will say that they definitely if you get a nice even coat you're not going to have the issue as much as other ones and i mentioned that in the beginning of the video it will attract some uh it's just because you have a layer of a product on the tire that's just inevitable so with that being the case here you can just go ahead and kind of do a quick quick little wipe down and all that stuff and it really doesn't die down the gloss at all if you've let it sit for a bit but it just kind of it makes it feel so much better and already there the grease the feeling is not really there like it was before um and it definitely makes it um it kind of works better in your favor if you do wipe it down as a mobile detailer i don't like wiping down and so that's a good thing where it doesn't really attract much residue and so it's kind of one of those things where you know if if i am a consumer who uses on my own car maybe a couple cars then that's not an issue i'd probably wipe down anyway but in a mobile environment i haven't found much of an issue leaving it there um and 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 so i don't see a big deal in that i don't see it's, it's necessary to do that but you can do that it will uh make your job easier i guess in the long run not by much but a little bit and so there you go now guys um if you want to pick up the product i'd mentioned it already you can just go to o'reilly's they have it on the counter it's for like 7.49 if you want to pick it up at your local auto parts store but uh this was that was the um the coverall, the uh, superior products coverall, I do like the product and I will use, I will keep it on hand, especially for trucks where I have tread and all that and a, a standard uh, hand applicator isn't gonna work and so you're really gonna find a benefit with that product and you know, with this product in that scenario, guys. So, uh, Mr. Lad here signing out. If you like this video as well as the content on the channel, go ahead and wax that like button, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, all that stuff, whatever. I am excited to go down the Superior Products lineup as I've been experimenting with them. There are quite a few good products on the lineup here, and uh, I'm just excited to bring them to you guys. So let me know if you have any questions, comments, anything you'd like to know in the comment section below. And guys, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.